What's good, BitRushers? My name's Kyler, and you're watching BitRush Crypto. Today's video is going to be a public service announcement or explanation video on why I stopped flipping NFTs and why I no longer endorse flipping NFTs and why I'm no longer creating content on flipping NFTs or the latest, greatest project that you should be looking at to flip or make a quick buck. This video is not trying to throw shade at anyone or try to tell anyone what they should or shouldn't be doing with their funds. It's strictly just a explanation on what I'm doing and why I made this change. If that sounds good, do pound the thumbs up button, sub if you're not already, and let's get into the video. Just real quick though, let's come over to my Twitter. Make sure you're following me here at D5Brains with the Z. And we do have a weekly drop giveaway. We're doing a pumpkin and the 0.1 Ethereum every single week. You need a crypto pumpkin to enter the Ethereum giveaway. But if you don't own a crypto pumpkin, you can comment with your Ethereum address. And I'm going to be giving away one free pumpkin every week. So then you can enter next week. And for everyone who already has a crypto pumpkin, you can just go ahead and comment with your favorite pumpkin in your wallet. And one lucky winner is going to win 0.1 Ethereum every single week. Obviously, guys, you can also just go over to OpenSea and pick one up. So if you guys want to enter right away, just go pick up a new pumpkin. And then jump in Discord as well as you have an extra chance to enter over there for both your Ethereum address and your crypto pumpkin. Either way, wherever you guys are in the community, whether you're trying to get in or you're already in, you have two available entries, one on Twitter and one in Discord. I'll see you over there and let's get into the video. Hey guys, so again, today's video is really just going to be me explaining why I've kind of made some changes on my channel here why i'm no longer talking about flipping nfts if you're in my um, chat groups we're no longer really posting that many links we used to post probably two three a day i was constantly buying nfts every single day and flipping them and trying to make a buck um, and basically i just kind of stopped that and so i wanted to explain why i cut flipping out and why i'm no longer endorsing flipping and why i'm no longer doing content like what the latest project is that you should be looking at to kind of flip and the reason is you can see by my background here the crypto pumpkins patch right so um, that was my project that I launched here at the beginning of October. I'll be honest with you guys, it was a whirlwind of a experience. I learned a ton and grew a lot and, you know, just so many things happened. All good and all really great learning experiences and honestly made me grow as an investor and as a person. And one of the things that I realized is that doing a project like this takes a lot of time and energy. Like the artist puts a lot of time in. And if you're not the artist, whoever you are, you're most likely paying your artist a lot of money. And so that money comes from somewhere. So it is, you know, multiple people's time, whether it's someone, you know, taking the time to create that money to pay the artist and the artist to do the work. Or if you're just the artist yourself doing all of that work, it's a lot of time to put into it. And then it's a lot of time and money also to market the product and to get it out there and basically, you know, get it in the public's eye enough for people to want to buy it. And then at that point, you know, you build up the product and you get it to a certain price and everybody just dumps it to make a quick buck. It kind of stinks as a project, guys, and it really does hurt the, the ecosystem, like in general. I think across the board, like... You know, it makes it harder and harder for projects to actually be good, legitimate projects. It's some more and more products wanting to just do a quick dump just to make a quick buck, hype up the project, release some NFTs, make a quick dollar, and then just bounce and never do anything. You're seeing more and more projects coming out that are saying no roadmap, right? Like um, people are just really trying to do a cash grab here. And while I do think there is a opportunity for people to make money in the space, and I'm never going to tell anybody you shouldn't try to, you know, flip up or make money if you need to pay your bills or whatever. Again, I think it's really just detrimental to the community overall for the collectors, for the flippers, for the projects, the creators, um, for this to kind of be the ecosystem. Now, I do want to say that if you're someone just starting out and you don't have a lot of money, like I've been where you are and I'm not trying to throw shade, that's what I said, like, 
you know, if you need to make an extra couple thousand dollars to pay your bills and you need to mint a couple NFTs and sell them off, then by all means do that. Like, I'm not trying to tell you not to take profits, not to make money, not to do your thing. What I am saying is there's a lot of people that aren't at that point where they don't need the money. They already have, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not multi millions of dollars. And so when you're at that point and you don't really need the money to be minting 20, 30, 40 NFTs on a project just to kind of flip them a couple weeks later or you know constantly be just pumping and dumping a bunch of projects it's just really bad for the ecosystem it's bad for everyone involved and so that's why I'm personally no longer doing it okay what I'm now looking to do is basically any of my NFTs that I don't feel like I want to be a long-term holder of something I don't want in my wallet for the next five years then I'm looking to cash out on a little bit of profit and instead I'm spending my time focusing on the communities and the projects that I do want to hold and from now on my number one rule for minting is I'm no longer minting a project that I wouldn't want in my wallet in five years. Obviously, if I'm into a project that I'm planning on holding for five years or whatever, and it goes to 100 ETH, I may sell it off and take some profit. I'm not saying I'm never gonna sell you know, any NFTs. I'm never gonna take profits or anything like that. Um, obviously, the goal and the strategy has always been a lot of times to mint multiples anyway and to kind of sell a few of them off and, you know, take profits on those and keep one keeper, buy up and get one better one. Um, but from now on, I'm just looking basically to mint NFTs that I'm going to keep long term as a collector. Things like the Playboy collection, things like my Crypto Pumpkins here, things like the Huxley Saga NFTs, the comic books. Um, products and games and things that I really do believe in that I'm going to be a supporter of in many years. I'm going to look back and be happy with the art, right? Like I look at these and they're sick. I'm really happy with, you know, how my project came out. I'm happy with the community. We do have kind of a small community because it's only 666. And that's the one thing that I wish I would have done a little bit differently is just made a bigger project. And that's why we do have the chill cubes coming. We're expanding on um, crypto pumpkins, making a ice cubes theme project for the winter here, the chill cubes. And it's going to play on the same game that we've been developing and working on here for the pumpkins. So I'm really excited about that. And in addition to that, guys, I'm looking to build my community. So if you're a project out there, you're a solid project, um, you have a bunch of people in your community already, you have a good roadmap and a good plan, and you'd like to partner with me, we are looking for partners for the Crypto Pumpkins to help build our community and add value for our community because that's the number one thing that I think is going to help lead to strong growth in the NFT space in general is strong community building. Having a place where people can come and hang out and chat with other like-minded people, talk about what NFTs you're into, talk about what crypto projects you're into, and just talk about what's going on in life. Um, have some cool swag, play a cool game together. Like that's really what it's all about. And obviously with the pumpkins and cubes, we're also building out some comic books and we're going to do an animated series. So a lot of fun stuff coming here with this product, guys, with this project. I'm going to continue to focus on building our community with our giveaways and other fun stuff, some um, fun merch stuff that we have coming and I'm going to continue to look to find good projects and so when I start sharing links uh, moving forward here from today's video every single project if I share the link it's going to be something that if I minted I would keep long term I'm no longer going to be just sharing random projects or things that are getting hyped up if I'm not looking at minting them I'm not saying I'm going to mint every single project that I mention on the channel but I'm only going to mention ones that I think I would definitely want to mint and if I minted them I would hold for a long period of time now the caveat on that guys is I do do sponsored reviews I always tell you when I'm doing a sponsored review and I'll always continue to do sponsored reviews because I do think there is a lack of places in the NFT community for NFT projects upcoming to kind of get out there and market their product and so I think without paying absorbent fees to some of these other websites to get listed and to be promoted at the top of their upcoming, you know, list things here, um, I think there is a need for YouTubers in that space. But with that, not every project I review is going to be good. So you guys need to always do your own due diligence. Again, I always tell you when I'm doing a sponsored product and I always give you an honest review of them. A lot of times the ones in the past I've said, you know, these don't have that big of followings. They probably won't be that big, but I do think the art is cool and the 
roadmap is cool so if you guys want to be a part of that community then maybe you want to mint and that's the same thing it's going to be going forward whether that product or that community has you know a hundred thousand followers in discord or 10 people in discord if i like the art and i like the project and i think i might want to hold it in my wallet long term then i'm going to do that and not everything i'm looking to mint guys is going to be to make money some things i just think are cool and not everything i think is cool other people think is cool so there's always going to be that but the one thing i will say is i'm going to continue to grow my youtube channel here i'm going to continue to spend time to give you guys cool projects to cover and focus things that i'm interested in that i think are cool and continue to try to build value for bit rushers and for the crypto pumpkins and for the chill cubes as we move forward and i do have a lot of exciting things coming here in the very near future including the launch of my own company I'm not going to go in too much details yet because i don't want to release too much but essentially guys it is going to be an nft studio strong focus on nft games and gamified DeFi. okay guys so that's really where i'm looking to focus all of my energy and all of my money in the future if you guys believe in me you believe in bitrush crypto um, you believe in the things i'm gonna do then you may want to pick up a pumpkin i can tell you right now guys that um, if you own a pumpkin you can consider this like a seed into everything i'm doing in the future a pass to everything else everything i'm doing is going to build on itself so you know get concessively bigger and better however the pumpkins is the first one so i hope you guys want to pick one up and be a member of my community and again we are doing that giveaway weekly until we drop the chill cubes then we'll probably do some even cooler giveaways after that so again, guys, just to recap, I'm no longer flipping NFTs. I'm no longer looking to find projects to flip. I'm no longer going to be mentioning projects to flip. I'm only going to be talking about projects I think have a great roadmap, a great community, projects I want to hold as a collector. I'm only minting NFTs that I want to collect and hold in my wallet for a long period of time. And hopefully they'll all end up being 100x just like the original crypto punks. But only time will tell. Do your own due diligence, as always, not financial advice. I do hope you are enjoying my channel and my free alpha that I give away in my Discord and my Telegram chat groups. If so, smash a thumbs up on this video. Make sure you follow me over on Twitter. Sub to the channel if you're not already. Happy crypto, and let's keep getting that coin.